Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get rid of annoying pop-ups on some websites, especially like the marketing pop-ups. And these are not like actual separate window pop-ups, they're in window pop-ups. So you have to use um, CSS to get rid of them usually. Um, so Seeking Alpha now has this pop-up on their website that always comes up and you can't get rid of. And I'm guessing if you enter this stuff in it's going to like log you in and put a cookie in here and then as long as you're signed in it just won't show up but who wants to do that so if um, this debugger that I opened up here I just pressed F12 to open it Google Chrome comes with a debugger by default and uh, if you do here I'll close it hit, hit F12 and it'll pop up and you can do inspect element on the thing you want to look at and you can see like this div right here, this alpha box modal window. We can actually go in here and edit the CSS and just say display none. And then, so that's good. It's not showing up anymore. And then the other problem is that some they put like a transparent click blocker over this, so nothing will click. So just go to inspect element on that, because if you click on it, that's what you're going to get. So luckily, we can get it um, and find it easily. So just find that and do display uh, none also. And then you should be good after that, so then you can click on any of this stuff. Um, Alright, so um, anyway, if you want to do that in Firefox, it's like pretty much the same thing, except Firefox doesn't have a default debugger that's as good. They have one, but you should get the add-on called Firebug, and it'll show up like this right here, like this little... Um, this little thing right here. So I'm just going to enable all the panels before we go any farther. No, it won't let me do it on this. Or whatever. Um, okay, because we're about to use it. Uh, so again, it's F12 to open the debugger. And um, we just want to inspect with Firebug. And pretty much the same steps like click on that thing and then set the display property to none and again you can find a thing if it's an iframe display to none whoops that's not gonna work okay so anyway and then you can like keep going through whatever um so if you want to do it automatically, it's really easy to do in Firefox with a thing called Grease Monkey. We're going to enable Grease Monkey, and I wrote a script in here. All it does is it takes that ID and it sets the style display to none. Um, the problem is, like you'll see when we really re reload this or whatever, uh, it gives you some JavaScript errors because I think that they have some script in here that's trying to access that and it's on a timer so it, like it makes it worse like we're getting a lot of errors um, but I mean the page is still functional so oh well anyway so that should work for any site if you just use the debugger and you can always write a script um, if we go back to the home page here I'll show you the script I did grant is none, so that gives you all permissions to write on that page. And uh, you can also require a library, like I required jQuery. Even though I didn't actually use it in the script, like it's just an example, you can use jQuery. So um, yeah, give it a shot, uh, and I'll put some more videos up like this. But anyway, yeah, fun.